Hi, I'm David with Smartscapes LLC here in Nashville, Tennessee. We have a beautiful early spring morning and we're here to talk about property boundaries and landscaping in your property boundaries. There's several different ways that you can address pop property boundaries. Every property has it. You can do stack stone walls, you can do fences, you can do privacy fences, you can do all those things, but sometimes people want more of a natural feel. And that's what I'm here to show you. We have a client over here that they wanted some privacy, they want some protection from their neighbors, being able to watch them, being able to whatever. They got multiple patios and they entertain and whatever else. So what we came up with them as a solution was a berm, a landscape berm that can't, goes around the perimeter, the back perimeter of the property. And what it does is it uses a number of different plants, not just a hedgerow, because a hedgerow is kind of generic, but we wanted something that would have different textures, different layers, different things that added to it to make a beautiful or pretty um, property boundary. So as you look over and through here, there's several things that are incorporated. We incorporated a tree lawn sugar maples over here in the front and what we try to do with those is keep it keep them limbed up to where you can see the berm you can see the rocks and you can see the other plants that are associated in the berm now let's talk about the berm directly behind the tree row we incorporated boulders in there for erosion control for natural looks we, in, we incorporated um, sea green junipers we incorporated Viburnum, we incorporated magnolias, daylilies, hydrangea, and we made it kind of into a natural flow. Now the benefit of this, let me tell you, that house that was right over there, you can't really see them anymore, even in the winter. You look over and through here, we used, a, I'd say a small, but it's kind of big, hedgerow of weeping privet. It does a great job of being able to it's semi, it's semi evergreen, so it'll leaves, lose some of its leaves during the winter, but it does a great job of being able to shield out the unsightly neighbors. So what we're talking about here is landscaping property boundaries. And you have a long one all the way across here. And I'm gonna give you a couple other short, quick examples here in just a second of how landscaping property boundaries can benefit you. Here we have another area that we landscape the pop property boundary. This is where it kind of gets cool. This particular property and that particular property, they have a real close property line, which I guess they're all close. But this homeowner was smart enough to go to that homeowner and say, hey, listen, if I landscape on your side of the property, will you let me do it? And do you know what they said? Of course they said yes. So this homeowner spent their money on their other property and made the yard feel a whole lot bigger. Now, there's several things to be considered in this design on this, prop, on this border landscaping. Number one, the homeowner over here, they have a hot tub and a patio. And of course, the homeowner over here doesn't want to see them out there in the hot tub and the patio. So, and also, there's a water issue. There's erosion erosion or water dreaming from their yard coming this way. So again, we incorporated a berm and then we landscaped it. And we gave it a little different feel, we gave it, gave it a little different flair, and we incorporated several different things into it. We incorporated some trees, um, some hollies, some sea green juniper, and then we gave it some spirea and, and gave it some viburnum. And I think, yep, down there at the end, there's some more hydrangea and boulders. Now, this particular property boundary landscaping serves three different purposes and it makes it wonderful. The homeowners that live over here from their master bathroom can't see the homeowners over here on their patio and vice versa. It helps with erosion and it controls water, it goes down to a ditch down yonder and it does a great job in what it does. Over here, you'll find another great idea of property boundary landscaping. The client, the homeowner here, was smart enough to again solicit the other neighbor over on the other side. Now, the other neighbor on the other side, they have a patio over there as well as bedroom windows, but their patio is right over here. 
So what did they do? They went to the neighbor again and said, hey, listen, I can landscape our property boundaries. Would you care if I put a little bit of it on your side? That way it made their side feel a whole lot bigger. And I think actually the neighbor over here split the cost with them. Now, we married again, same type of ideas. We gave them a berm, some chrysohollies, some viburnum, and we gave them some evergreens as well as some ornamental grasses and rocks, boulders at either end to kind of flank it. But it does a perfect job of shielding the neighbor from the other neighbor without having the dreaded privacy fence. Again, I'm David with Smartscapes LLC here in Nashville, Tennessee. Come check us out at landscapesnashville.com.